Hi, my name is Nur Asila Binti Saifuzaman from EH2205B. In this video, I'm going to show you how chemical preservation in jam making works. Now, let's start off with the materials and ingredients for this experiment. We need strawberries, lemon, sugar, bowl, pot, and a jar. So first, we need 250 grams of strawberries and we're going to wash it and rinse it off. I'm going to leave some of it in the refrigerator so that we can compare between the preserved strawberries and unpreserved strawberries. Then, I'm going to cut these strawberries into small pieces and put it into a bowl. Now, once we got all our strawberries chopped, we're going to cut this lemon into half and add for about 1 or 2 tablespoons of lemon juice into the bowl. Then, I'm going to add half cup of sugar. I'm using my spatula to mix all the strawberries and make sure that all of them get coated in that sugar. The sugar is going to help release all of the water and moisture in the strawberries. Then, cover it up with a cling wrap and keep it in the refrigerator for about an hour. Next, transfer it into a pot and heat it up at medium-high heat until it boils. Stir the mixture constantly. Once the foam has disappeared and the consistency is thick, remove the pot from the stove. Transfer the jam into a jar. Close the cap tightly and store it in the refrigerator. Now, let's talk about the science behind jam. So, what is osmoanabiasis? Osmoanabiasis is the combination of two words which osmo and anabiasis. Anabiasis comes from a Greek word which means caused by drying, while osmo comes from the word osmosis which is the movement of a solvent, water, through a semi-permeable membrane to the side with higher solute concentration than equalizing solute concentration on both sides of the membrane. Gem is the perfect combination of a few key ingredients which consists of heat, sugar, acid, and pectin. And when these four ingredients combine, we can make jam. The function of sugar in this experiment not to only retains the color of the fruits, but also helps in the formation of gel. Sugar also acts as a preserving agent where it draws water content out from fruits, which helps to prevent the growth of molds and bacteria. Mixing sugar with pectin and fruit pulp will create osmotic pressure and cause osmoanabiasis to occur. Pectin is a substance that occurs naturally in fruits and it helps them stick together. It often finds in the rinds of fruits like the peel of this lemon. It helps hold everything inside these fruits. Acids such as lemon juice will assist the process. Insoluble fibers create a mesh-like structure that collects fruit juice or other liquid just as sponge absorbs water. This causes the gel to form in jam. Strawberries that undergo osmoanabiasis with sugaring method has no mold on its surface. Meanwhile, strawberries that were not preserved already spoil and has lots of mold on its surface. <music> 